when you design a sheet metal tray where you have two sides angular and then two sides vertical then this is not possible by direct technique because when you use a direct technique you get these kind of result so if you create a flange with an angle it will be applied all around so you cannot have two sides angular and then two sides vertical so whenever we have this kind of requirement where these two sides are vertical and then these two sides are angular we go for the indirect technique so if you see this model tree here first i have created this block where this side and this side it is vertical and then this side and this side angular then i have shelled it and then i converted this into a sheet metal part once it is converted following the sheet metal unbent technique we can flatten it so this is the today's topic here we are adding angular flanges with the vertical one and at last we will add the flat pattern now this is just a short so watch the full video to learn these things in creo parametric and for the full video check the description and thanks for watching